Uh, let's get to Timothy Ash then, Senior Emo uh, Emerging Markets Sovereign Strategist at Blue, Boy, uh, Blue Bay Asset Management. Timothy, good morning to you and welcome to the programme. Before we wade in and start talking about some of the uh, sever sovereign opportunities or otherwise here, can I just ask you about your view on the price action that we saw yesterday in markets? Because it was every asset class and it was a complete reversal of what we've seen in recent trading ses sessions. What do you think happened and what do you think happens next? Well, markets were desperate for some uh, some good news, maybe some short covering, uh, dead cap bounce, all that kind of, uh, kind of angle there. Um, I mean, optimism about peace talks, I mean, I think you know, that's as I, I guess th these talks are still going to be very, very difficult. That, that's the reality, right? The two sides, in my mind, are still fairly uh, a long way apart. Uh, you, th there was the message, you know, Shalensky's comments about NATO. The, qu the basic question, right, was this about NATO membership for Russia? And I, I really don't think it was, right? I mean, if you go back to 2014, Ukraine got invaded, uh, Cry Crimea annexed when it had no ambitions to join NATO, right? It, it's had neutral status, it had no military capability, uh, which is what the Russians were demanding, and it still got invaded. I think you have to look back to Putin's essay that he wrote uh, in the middle of last year and distributed, distributed it to every member of the Russian armed forces that basically said Russians and Ukrainians are the same people and, you know, questioning Ukraine's sovereignty. So in the end, I think Putin still wants Ukraine. It's not really about NATO membership. So it is this kind of concession, if you want to call it a concession, uh, from Zelensky on this NATO issue, really, really concession. And, and it's not that simple either. I mean, uh, Zelensky said, you know, I'm willing to talk about NATO, but I want security guarantees. And actually, your, your reporter wasn't actually correct there. It wasn't, it's not security guarantees on DPR and LPR, it's broader security guarantees. Ukraine wants, if it's not going to be NATO, it wants the West to guarantee its security. And there's a question, who is that? Would it be NATO? Would it be the EU? Would it be a series of NATO members with military capability? But, uh, you know, this is still Timothy. pretty complicated. 